All right, Shalawan, this is the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina camp, coming at you with another lesson. And before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders out of the Great Millstone that teach and rule well. And salutation to the fellow laborers that's out there pushing this word in the ministry of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. In all truth and sincerity, day in and day out, Shalom. This message is to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. And to the Israelite foreigners that may look like a heathen, but if your bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, you are an Israelite according by the seed of your father. Because as a nation, we are scattered amongst all nations. And our people are going to come out. Some of our um, uh, Israelite brothers, uh, Israelites going to come out, you know, when they're born, being, looking like heathens. But if their bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, they are Israelites. So, um, getting into the lesson, man. You know, the big topic of the week is this so-called uh, uh, terrorist attack. That happened in New Jersey, a shooting that left six people dead and two armed men were so-called Negroes. And they say that they labeled them uh, as the black Hebrew Israelites, you know. But they're just showing you that uh, uh, these devils, which are the biblical Edomites, you so-called white people, starting with your elites, how you control the mainstream media, man. Because here at Great Millstone... You know, in the true men of the Lord, we're not going to be thinking about uh, carnality, gathering up guns, being a, a radical or a militant group. We're going to uh, go through the scriptures, man. That's a prophet job. That's a men of the Lord job. We're not going to take matters in our own hand to, to, to come against this system. You know, what true men of the Lord are going to do is go on the highways and byways and push the word and, and, and bring forth. The, the, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Not what we think or how we feel. Taking matters in our own hand. Because this is a spiritual war. But you're going to have, you know, you got certain groups out there, you know, claiming that they're Israelites. That while, you know, here at Great Millstone, we don't affili affiliate ourselves with these uh, false camps, man. Because you got some of them want to go into uh, taking up arms, bearing arms. Going to the shooting range, practicing uh, 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 military drills and all that. Well, that's not in the scriptures, man. Because Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Christ, he said that if you, basically, if you uh, live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. And meaning the modern day sword is the gun. And putting your trust in these guns is not going to deliver you from this captivity, it's not going to deliver you from the so called white man, these Edomites which are our enemies, but we're not going to come and fight against them that way, man, with guns. We're going to bring forth this truth and condemn them with this truth. And, and that's what Esau, Edom, these elites are afraid of, man. There's truth coming out of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, 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 coming into power, coming back to who they are and disposing the lives of you Edomites. And one of them being that you, the, that you call yourself the Jews or the Jewish, the Israelis. Well, you're not. You're not the, the Lord's chosen people. You are Edomites, according to the Bible. And the Lord is against the so-called white race. You know? But this is how Esau is going to uh, 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 paint the picture, man. Control the narrative. Trying to make it seem like we the bad guys, man. And of course, you know, he, you know he, if, if, if for years now people know about this media, how I ain't up but a bunch of false flags. And he got certain uh, uh, agent, agents that he uses, you know, to push his propaganda. So so now the new propaganda is lately, this whole, this whole thing about the New Jersey shooting, uh, 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 two so-called black Hebrew Israelites went into a, a kosher store, which was run by uh, some Jews, and how they went in there and shot up a couple of Jews and a police officer. 
showing me, man, that, that Esau is getting more tacky with his tricks, man. But that's uh, in the in the scriptures, man. How Esau is going to be deceiving people. Blinding people. Controlling it, controlling the narrative. You know, the, the, the paint, the, the boogeyman. When all actuality, the elites. And this government is the real terrorist. And so I'm going to go get a quick scripture. Because I'm going to get into the article about the New Jersey shooting. That took place uh, uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago. But I'm going to start off with this. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Counsel, a true man of the Lord, a Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, that's in the correct spirit. We're not going to be ignorant to Satan devices. And you Edomites are the counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. And you coming with this, this guy, coming with this, these uh, 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 these tricks, man. These lies, the demonization, the slander of the Hebrew Israelites. And like I said, man, you got a lot of these camps out here that's it, that's in the truth, or say that in the truth, or pushing the word, or calling itself Israel for the wrong reason. Cause you do got camps out there that's in that mind frame of being militant, but that's the wrong mind frame to be in, man. Because the only thing they're doing is putting a, a big target on their back. Giving ammunition to these elites uh, and, and to this government to furthermore call them and label them as terrorists to move in on them, man. You know? But a true man of the Lord is not going to be ignorant, you know, to Satan devices. We already know that Esau got agents. We already know that Esau is, is coming up against the words of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Trying to hinder the word. Trying to come with different uh, uh, platforms of uh, uh, hate speech. And no terrorism. Against the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And he's setting up these false uh, agonizations. You know, and, and, and these, um, um, these, these false flags. He's trying to justify a uh, 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 not uh, uh, for the men of the Lord to go out there and push this word. Because he knows his downfall is coming. We get that in Revelation. This is Revelation 12, verse 12. And it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Counsel, that's why Esau pushing this, man. And this ain't nothing new. For years, Esau had the uh, 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 so-called black Hebrew Israelites on, on the terrorist watch list, man. You know, because the truth been coming out. Going back from my apostles and elders over 30 years ago, and they elders that they learned from. But the thing about it, why he's uh, why it's so intense now? Because we at the end of his kingdom. We had his downfall, man. So Esau going to try to push or, or, or bring out anything to trying to hinder this word, man. Just to see, just to trying to keep his kingdom afloat. But it's not going to work, man. Because it's a set time that the Lord have that you cannot pass. And for this truth to be pushed and and and, and growing, and, and you know, and, 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 and brothers and people are waking up to the fact that it, who the Israelites are and who the devil is. And, and you being exposed for all your uh, propaganda, all your uh, um, wickedness that you pushing, you can't. You know, you only thing you can do is is take it, man. Cause this is your time to go down. It's already written. But Esau ain't gonna go out without a fight, man. And this is what he's doing, man. Trying to fight to keep keep his uh, uh his kingdom, man. But it's not gonna happen. It's already set up, man, for you to go down. And true men of the Lord, we're not ignorant of Satan devices. The Lord told us to be prepared for this. You know, be prepared for prosecution. For slander, demonization, false accusations. To the point that they want to come and round the men of the Lord up. And they want to get the men of the Lord. Because we are a threat. By the words of Yahweh Shemal Shah pushing this word, man. 
not because you know it, it more you know because he, he saw he carnal. He's gonna label uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelites as a terrorist group, and got agents and got you know knuckleheads amongst Israel, you know to, to, to go out and bear arms. But more than anything, Esau know that this is a spiritual war. But all he know is carnality. So he's going to labor that uh, amongst us, man. But all actuality, man, it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's going to take him down. Um, I'm going to get this. Then I'm going to uh, go ahead and get into that article. Showing that we in the times of great prosecution. And you got a lot of these dudes that's amongst these uh, uh, camps, you know, you know these the ones that know that they Israel or uh, 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 calling themselves Israel, they not taking this serious, man. Cause you got a majority of these camps of uh, Israel, man, they in the mind frame of prosperity, gather all Israel. No time, there ain't no such thing as the time of Jacob's trouble, going through any type of adversity, or catching hell. Well, you should already know for day one. Bible 101, when you come into the, the truth, man, you find out who you are, and you find out who the so-called white man is, that he's the Edomites, and, 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 and it's undeniable that the so-called white man is the enemy of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Check his uh, track record, man, that he done done by stealing this land, enslaving the so-called Negroes and the other tribes of the nation of Israel. The Lord just bring it to the forefront or, or put it, you know, bring it out spiritually. You know, once you come into the truth to know why everything, you know, is is, is for what it is, man. So when you come into the truth, you're already supposed to know that this word is going to be a threat to Esau, Edom, society. Because it's full of wickedness and the Lord is against it. But some of these dudes, when they come in, man, they won't have that mind frame. They come in as, 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 as being an Israelite. And, you know, going to the, the Passover parties, making the rap rap music videos, being around a, in congregation with women, going out, you know, just having fun and living it up, not knowing the the uh, the real reason why the Lord put us out there on the highways and byways, why the Lord called us back to get prepared for the wrath of the Lord, man. And part of the wrath of the Lord is Esau, Edom coming down on Israel. Because two-thirds of our people that's wicked amongst Israel and the ones that's in the world, they're going to be judged, man. And the Lord is using Esau to do that. Um, this is... um. a lot but to be coming in at that time man but the Lord said that you know the time gonna come when they're gonna cast some of us into prison man God, I got it right here this is Revelation chapter 2 verse 9 and this is Yahweh Shah speaking in red letters I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And he's talking about the, the true Israelites, man. Because we over here in America, and where we at, scattered throughout the earth, we in the state of poverty because the Lord had put the curses on us for being obe disobedient to the law, statute, and commandments. But we are rich. Why? Because the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, is going to yet choose us, man, for the kingdom of heaven. When the Lord, Yahweh Shah, return and set up the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel here on the earth. And they're going to be an everlasting, an everlasting kingdom in righteousness, man. So that's why we're rich. And we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to go with it. And it says, and I know the blasphemy, the blasphemy, the blasphemy are done with say they are Jews and are not, but are the sin of God of Satan. Kind of going into the, the ones that calling themselves Jews today, man. They, these are Israelis, man, that stole the land, that, that, that stated that the, the land of Israel is a state, the state of Israel is days in 1948, man. 
and label themselves as the Jews. You know, you had Trump recently, a couple of days ago, where he made Ju Judaism, he signed an executive order of Judaism being a nationality. You know? But that's how the devils move, man. They feel like they could play the role of the most high. Because that's how all nations got these false identities, man. By the so-called white man designing these false uh, identities and, and labeling people on uh, 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 blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, naming themselves white, Caucasian, naming the the, uh, the Chinese. All these are false uh, 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 identities, man. And it says, um, and them will say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, kind, because these fake Jews, they come from the tribe of Edom, Amalek, one of the sons of Edom, which are Amalek, the Khazar Empire. And, and, and they are not the real Jews, man. The Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, we, we are the Israelites. And that's what we're claiming, man. And that's what they're afraid of. That's why this word is such a threat. And they got to come up against us, man. You know, because they don't want to see us awoke. Because they already know once the Lord awoken us, and we call out to the true name, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, after that, man, it's going to become the deliverance. But he can't do nothing about it because the Lord already had it set up that he's going to have a few men, uh, elect men, and the elect out there that's going to uh, come back and remember they stuff through the Spirit and cry out to the Lord that he's going to come back and send his son back to deliver us from the hands of our enemies. So there's nothing you can't do, man. And it says, um, but on the synagogue of Satan, because that's who they truly worship, man, the Edomites, all the Edomites, man, including the, the, the fake Jew, Satan. And now they want to come up with, you know, uh, different, you know, uh, anti-Semitic, you know, uh, uh, you can't say nothing against the, the Jews. You can't say nothing against the, these so-called white people. They leave it as a hate crime, a terrorist. Cause they're afraid, man. And that's not going to stop uh, the Lord from bringing judgment on America and on you Edomites. And it says, For none of those which things which thou shalt suffer, it says, Fear none, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into the prison, into prison, that you may be tried. Kind of those prisons talk about those concentration camps, literally prison. You know, because that's the M.O. of these devils, man. They may had it on their on they books, man, to come up against the, the Hebrew Israelites on Project Megiddo, the Cain Afric plan, Rex uh, 84. And the way we got that information, by the way of the internet, and by these uh, these devils exposing their own self, exposing their agenda. And that's why this word in the internet is such a threat, man, because they're being exposed. And it says, um, and the Lord said, fear none of those things, man. So we ain't supposed to fear what these devils can do to us, man. Yahweh Shah say, don't, don't fear the one that can kill the body, but fear the one that can kill both body and soul, you know? Because Yahweh Shah is the, uh, the, control, the controller of life and death. They control that, man. Just like they control you Edomites, man. And everything here on the earth, man. So we're supposed to keep our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. When the, when the times like this come upon us. And it says, And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So even if it's to death, man, we in these concentration camps, brothers be put in these concentration camps, being threatened to be beheaded, being threatened, uh, the, 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 you got to receive the chip, which is the mark of the beast. But you're not supposed to fear those things, man. The Lord said, be faithful unto death, even if you have to die. Be a martyr, you know? It's a lot. At the end of the day, man, judgment is coming for you Edomites, man. Ultimately, and judgment is going to come on two-thirds of our people for the wicked Israelites, the ones that's out there in the world, the ones amongst Israel, that being agents, or being just uh, uh, simple, or uh, 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 not following the, the true ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh but going to establish their own righteousness, the Lord going to bring judgment on them too. Um, I'm going to 
we'll get into that article. Okay. This is on December the 12th, which is today. Let me pull it up my phone. It's Satan acting up. See this word, man. This is a spiritual war, man. I gotta pull it back up. I already had it uploaded, but it froze on me. And they constantly pushing this, man. Constantly pushing. Okay. This is all. Um, the Washington Post, and this article is written December the 12th, 2019, a couple of minutes ago, man. And it says, Jersey City shooting is being investigated as an act of domestic terrorism, authorities said. So that's how they're going to push it, man. And you see, if you can see it, man, they got the, the old Amalek man crying and you know, but how they gonna paint it, man? Cause they gonna try to protect these 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 uh Amalek, man, the Khazars, man. But it ain't it don't matter how much protection you give them, man. The Lord got judgment coming for them, cause they are not the Lord's chosen people, and they don't lie, man. It don't matter how much you trying to make a you can't make a lie into a, 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 a truth, man. And the lie is that they are not the the Lord's chosen people. Now you saw pushing all this propaganda to come against the real Israelites. And it said, Jersey City, New Jersey, Sam Gold was on his way to, uh, to a synagogue. Matter of fact, I'm just going to hit the key points. We just, just went into how everything started up and everything. But this this the propaganda they pushing, man. And our apostles and elders warn us about this, man. Yeah, you get nigga, you got him walking through the streets, man. Ain't up but Amalek, man. And the Lord, they ain't the Lord people look how they dress, man. Cause they ain't up but a bunch of Satanism, man. Wearing all black. They the real black. The word black just mean uh um a void of light, darkness. Cause they're what they really worship, man. Satan. You know, the, 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 the I read the script, the scriptures say the the synagogue of Satan. Cause the real Israelites gonna wear the, the custom, man. Or the border in blue, the fringes. You know, all they doing is all this. They they they, they religion go back to Judaism, or or uh, the uh, Talmud. The worship of Satan, man. This is um, starting off in an article. It says, law enforcement officially announced Thursday that the deadly attack at Jersey City Kosher Supermarket this week, which left six people dead, is being investigated as a domestic terrorism event. The evidence points toward the acts of hate. New Jersey, New Jersey Authority General Gabor, Gabur, Gabir, Gawa, Jawa, sound like a, you know, a, a Jew said at the news conference we believe the suspect had held views that reflect hate of the Jewish people as well as the hate hate of the law enforcement and, and all these nations coming up against the, the Jewish people go why? because the Lord the scripture said he's going to uh, make uh, uh, the least of the flock draw them out which are you Amalek and all nations coming against you uh, uh, Jews because your leaders, your elites, they're Jewish, man. They're Amalek, you know? And everybody know that the, the Jews are the ones that run the central banker system. 
that could, that caused these wars, that caused the 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 uh, um the 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 uh, um the uh, um pollution of the air, the water, the food, that that own and rape, rob everything, man. That's why they're trying to offend them so much with these laws. It said uh, authorities intentionally portrayed the Tuesday afternoon shooting as a horrific. If seemingly random crime, but that picture changed Wednesday with surveillance videos that officials said indicate the market had been deliberated, marked for violence, raising the specter that the shoot the shooting was another in a growing national national pattern of anti-Semitic semin, semin, attacks. Anti-Semitic attacks, and whenever they go again, man, that they worry what they want to use, man. Anti-Semitic, meaning you can't speak or go against these false Jews, man. And why they got to uh, create laws that, you know, they, they, they try to keep them safe? Because the Lord is exposing them that they are not Lord chosen people, and they being hated. Because that judgment is coming upon them. And it says... I do believe it is a hate crime, Jersey City Major Steve Fluke said in an interview, nothing that he had seen favorable sentiment toward anti-Semitic groups from the attackers on Facebook. And there you go, Facebook, social media. You got a lot of these camps want to put their guns and everything out on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Ain't nothing but another tool that you saw set up under the FBI, man, to get you you simple niggas and, and these other uh, radical groups, man, that keep a tab on you. And it said, I don't know how how anybody can interpret it in any other way. We live in a time where it is important to call out hate for what it, it is and do it quickly. You know, so now they talking about hate. For all years, man, these devils ain't showing nothing but hate to the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. What do you think slavery was? What do you think uh, genocides of the of the Native Americans and the Latinos and the Hispanic. What do you think that was, man? The slaughter of our people, man. What you doing to these other countries, man? Going in there and bombing up they 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 they, they country and taking their resources in the name of justice. You know? They ain't nothing but hate, man. But when they come to you, now you involved in nations rising up against you Edomites. Now all of a sudden it's wrong. Show you the hypocrisy of you Edomites, man. And that's why I wonder the main reason why the Lord is going to take you devils down, man. And it said across the Hudson River, New York Major Mayor Bill de Barcelo agreed calling the killing and the act of terror. See, that's how they're going to push it, man. But the Lord tell us to be aware of this, man. And it says, this this confirmed as as a sad truth. There is a crisis of anti-Semitics grappling in this nation. Dad Bosolo said the tr attack that claimed the lives of two New York natives, pointing pointing to the social media platform as a significant embers. And now that the threat has reached the doorstep of New York City, intentionally investigators investigators would not go as far as the mayors saying more digging was need before ascribing a motive. Although they continue to explore why the men target a particular store or individuals, on Thursday, they said the evidence this far, including the men's social media account, point toward acts of hate. And it says, uh, no evidence had linked the suspect to the black Hebrew Israelites. So they say that, you know, so you got this dude saying that no evidence had linked the suspect to the black Hebrew Israelite, meaning they ain't even got the evidence to say that they're Israelites. But what are you seeing in the media? Uh, two so-called black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites shot up a, 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 a Jewish store. Because that's the negative, the, 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 uh, the narrative that they want to push, man. Or you had this man right here saying that there's no evidence that these suspects was part of the black Hebrew Israelites, man. Showing that it all propaganda, man. And they setting it up, man, just to basically to target Israel, man. Not just the ones that are out there on the whole 
that, that know the Israelites, but even cause even the ones uh, uh, of our people that's blind and into this world, man. Because Esau, Edom, these elites, they know who we are, man. We just the ones that are woken, and, 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 and it's a so-called threat to their society. But when they all hell break loose, man, they're going to be coming after all Israelites, man. Even the ones of our people that don't even believe in their self being Israel, but finding the ways of, of this world, hoping in this system. Because as a whole, man, we are a threat, man, because Esau know that we're the Lord's chosen people, man. And it says, no evidence had linked the suspect to the black Hebrew Israelites, authorities said, though they were looking into that possibility. See, all of it is, man, just propaganda, man. You know, and I, you know, I you know, stop the article right there. People know by now, man, about, you know, the big news now. All of it ain't up but propaganda, man. And these devils going to pay, man. Now our brothers in this truth, man, we got to be circumspect. Let me get um Ephesians. And the scripture says that you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. So everything that Esau is doing, man, the most high controlling him to do. To bring judgment, because we're in the time of judgment. And he, he's using Esau as that sword. The cup against our people, man. The cup against uh, the Jake in the world. You Negroes, Latino, Native Americans that's in the world. And Israel, Jake's that's know they know they Israel, but but uh jucking and jiving, man. They ain't taking the words of the Lord serious. They ain't taking Israel or taking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The scripture's serious, man. And the times that we in. This ain't nothing but another step close of the Lord bringing judgment, man. Um This is Ephesians chapter 6, verse uh, 10. Finally, found, finally, brother, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. And that's going into the, 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 the wells of the devil, talking about his tricks, man. The, the, the media that he controlled, man. The propaganda that he's pushing, man. Right now, how he pushing, talking about he Hebrew Israelites calling us black. Like we ain't got uh, Latinos and Native Americans <coughs> amongst us, man. Or uh, Israelite foreigners that might look like so-called white people. Chinese. The Arabs. The whole bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, Native American descent amongst us, man. So he want to label it black, black, because that's the stereotype that he put on the so-called Negroes here in America, man. That we end up with a bunch of gangsters, thugs, low life, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, delusional, a threat. Because he already know that the so-called Negro, which is the tribe of Judah, that we are the head tribe, man. And he already know when Judah come back in righteousness, the other tribe is going to pursue, man. So that's why Esau trembling. But that the stereotype he pushed, man. And that's one of his wiles, man. You know, a, a deceivingness. And now he's pushing it on the, on the, on the media. And what that going to happen, man? They, they, they're going to just keep it. Because the world, the majority of our people, and, the, and these heathen nations, mainly these so-called white people, man, they already hate our guts, man. Because we out there exposing them. And we out there uh, 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 condemning this place. All the wickedness that's going on. That's the main thing, man. A true man of the Lord, the reason why they hate us because we condemn this place and we're using the scriptures, man. You know, you had all these so-called terrorist attacks or terrorist groups where they label like you know, Islam, the Muslim, and so far on. They come up against this 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 uh, um this society or this uh, um, government, you know, but they ain't, you know really ain't pursue after them like that. Well, ever since the men of the Lord, the Hebrew Israelites, have awoken and pushing this word, now they, they, they pursue the Hebrew Israelites more than any other thing, man. Any other so-called hate group out there. Because they know that the Hebrew Israelites, the truth, and, 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 and the scriptures backing it up, man. The facts is out there. The archaeology is out there. 
the, 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 the scholarships uh, uh, of the scholars, uh, letting people know who the Israel, Israelites are. It's the history is out there, man. And know that we are the Lord's chosen people and who the Edomites are, man. So the truth is a threat to these elites, man. And they know, like I say, man, they, when, when Israel wake up, man, that's their downfall, man. That's why their main uh, 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 thing they had is uh, being de deceiving. Deceiving the people, man. And push their lies. But once the truth come and expose them, that's how they losing their power, man. And all they, like I said, all they can think about is carnality and painting the picture of uh, 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 everything that come up against any, anybody come up against this society or against these elites, man. They paint, paint, paint the picture as terrorism, man. But like I said, when they the one that show on, 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 on terrorism the most, man. Like I said, we a spiritual group, man. We ain't, we ain't talking about going out there killing white people and all that, man. Like mostly, but you got like I said, you got most of these camps that do that, man. We tell you that the elites and you eat you eat the mice that you going down, but they're gonna be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will, man. We looking to be saved ourselves, man, from the wrath of the Lord. The Lord says in the nation coming amongst all nations, man. In the nation meaning his righteous anger, his judgment when he come back. And when all hell break loose, man, ain't nobody going to be exempt except for the elect. And there were brothers like myself and ones that's in the know praying part of, that we part of, man. Because judging is about to rain. And it says, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers or darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's talking about these elites, man, who worship the spiritual demon Satan, who Satan worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But that's how simple it is, man, because Esau is the base of man. He think he gonna really pull pull one over on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But we fight against you no know, spiritual darkness, man, in high places. And the example is that is this propaganda that Esau pushing out, man. And it said, wherefore take ye. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that you may be able to withstand in the evil days, and having done all to stand. Huh? That, uh, what is that, man? The armor. These scriptures. And the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, being in the right spirit, man. That this word is going to be our armor, be our defense for these elites and these uh, uh, um, people out here that's going to come up against us, man. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to fight with us, man. Um, and the Lord said in the evil days, man, and we are in evil days because we close to the destruction of America and the downfall of you at least and the downfall of two thirds of our people that want to hold, hold, hold on dearly to this society, to this kingdom, and to the wickedness of, of this world. Get a couple of more scriptures and I'm going to close it out. Get two more. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. God, they're talking about the world, man. Mainly, you know, these elites. The so-called Illuminati, you know, and the and the ones, the average uh, white, so-called white people, and the, the heathens, you know, and two-thirds of our people, man, are you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans? You abhor us, man. You hate us. That speaking in the gate, meaning when we go out there speaking this word, putting up the videos, and coming out the scriptures, they hate that, man. We tell them that they beloved it. America gonna be destroyed by missiles, and it's in the Bible, man. Only thing about it that they spiritually discerned. They don't have the spirit, and the Lord having dealt with them, or showing them these things. That's why they so upset. Cause most likely, man, they're gonna be destroyed right along with America, and kept be caught up in the judgment when all hell break loose. That's why. That's why our whole concern is about 
gathering the elect. And that's who the Lord is only going to deliver. The 144,000 and that one third. You know? But they hate us, man. Because we speak in righteousness. And they full of wickedness, man. They love darkness. They don't want to be told that uh, homosexuality is wrong. Uh, 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 following these idols. These different false doctrines. Following the ways of America, which is wickedness. Spearheaded by these elites. Through the, through the spiritual demon, Satan. They don't want it. They ain't want to uh, hear that, man. So they hate us, man. And I'm gonna get this last scripture, and I'm gonna close it out. But we in that time, man. We in the time of a uh, uh, great prosecution coming down upon us, and they coming after everybody, man. Cause that's their elite, the elite's job, man. They ready for you. To, they call what well, they got a slogan called "What obey." And they come after not only just the so-called black Hebrew Israelites, they're coming after the white supremacists. They're coming after the the uh uh these what so-called Nazis and different other so-called hate groups. And as a whole, man, they're coming against anybody that's against their agenda. That's a that's against the new world order that they want to establish. That's why they're gonna bring martial law, foreign troops. Open up the concentration camps. Implement the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, to stamp the people so they can keep a, 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 a tab on them, man. So they can keep them branded, man. To say that to say that whoever take that chip belongs to them, you know? But they're going to backfire, man. Because the Lord going to allow you to bring martial law. He going to allow you to bring that RFID chip all because to bring judgment on the wicked ones of our people, and you heathens, man. Because Esau, like I said, Esau, Edom, you Lord, you are the Lord's whipping stick, man. That's why you was set up, man. But at the end of it, man, the Lord gonna bring judgment on you Edomites and you elites as a whole, man. Um, This is John chapter 15, verse 18. And it says, if the world hate you, you know that it hateth me before it hated you. So this is Yahweh Shah speaking. He said, if the world hate us, because we represent Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah coming out the scriptures and speaking what the, what the scripture says through the spirit. And Yahweh Shah said, if the world hate you, you know it that it hateth me. Because we coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And you know the story about the Lord, man. Not what the, the churches teach you. But when you actually read the scriptures, man, you find out that the Lord was hated more than he was loved, man. How they crucified him, man. Turned him over to the Romans. There was you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But you Edomites was the ones that put him on the cross, man. You Romans. Because you was the ones ruling back then during the Roman Empire. And had our people uh, 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 loving your society and your kingdom that came up against uh, uh, the Lord. And it says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. Kind of, so we've been telling everybody that everything is going to be good, prosperity, you know, telling them that's, that what well, is not in the scriptures, that the Lord come back to bring judgment. Oh, they'll love that, man. Our people love to hear smooth things. And it says, because... You are not of the world, but I had chosen you. A salak. And it says, um, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I had chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. So the Lord, Yahweh, was shot through the Spirit and through the men of the Lord, man, has woken us up, man. Whether it's true and chosen us out of this world. And pray that we be part of the elect and continue enduring to the time come of salvation. <coughs> enduring the, the hardship and the adversities that we got to go through, man, of all hell breaking loose. But the Lord chose us out of this world by giving us this understanding and being out there in great boldness, man. Condemning this place, man. You know? 
And that's why Esau uh, upset, man. That's why he's mad. And it says, um, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated for you. So they hate us for that, man. Because the scriptures is against. And the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is against. Totally against the society of America. And the wickedness uh, and the, uh, the agenda that these elites are pushing, man. You don't go along with it, man. That's why they contrary to everything what the scripture says, man. That's why they want to come up against us, man. Because we are the Lord's chosen people. And we're coming back in the purest form of the scriptures and bringing it out, man. And condemning this place. And it says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is no, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have prosecuted me, they will also prosecute you. Counsel, just like I say, man, they did it to the Lord, man. They try to they came against the Lord. Deep trying to demonize the Lord, prosecute the Lord, uh, 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 trying to, you know, um, put him to death. And so they're going to do the same thing to us, man. What they did against the disciples, the prophets back then, putting them in jail, uh, 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 murdering them, murdering the prophets. So that's going, that's coming again. But this time the Lord is going to raise up a standard, man. This time the Lord is going to deliver his men that believe on him. Because we're in the time of transition of power, man. It wasn't back then, during that time. That back then was the beginning of the gospel being preached. And Yahweh sacrifice being the, the uh, leading to the new covenant, uh, uh, to the uh, the rising of Yahweh Bashim uh people of Israel, man. That was over 2,000 years ago, but now we're in the time, man, of, the, of it being fulfilled, man. Is this the time the Lord is, is transitioning power, man? Raising the, the, the nation of Israel up, starting with the elect, and bringing you heathens down. That's why they're afraid, man. And it says, if they have prosecuted me, they will also prosecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Con, so the, the reason why they're going to come up against us, man, because they don't know you how about Shemiah was shot. They don't know what the terror of the Lord got, man. They don't know what the Lord got for this place, man. The judgment. Like I said, they look at us like we just a hate group. We ain't know what we talking about. But we more than that, man. We just we, we we come out with the scriptures. We come out with articles exposing the devil for their wickedness and all that, man. History. Coming out with scriptures of the, the exhortation, brothers, you know, righteousness. You know, but they ain't gonna put that out there, man. But they're gonna put out there, man. We a hate group, you know, a radical group with guns, you know. They're gonna take the videos and, you know, uh, uh, and uh, uh, edit them, clip them, and just shows the so called the, the, the foul part uh, uh, of a brother speaking. They ain't gonna show uh, the whole video, they ain't gonna show uh, 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 clips of us talking about the, the wickedness of this society. Of these uh, these heathens getting on two thirds of our people for being wicked. They ain't gonna show that man, cause they the devil, man. You know. But the Lord said if they hated uh, him, they gonna hate us, man. So you know, just a, a video of going into how the prosecution, man, brothers, you know, get prepared for it, man, cause that's what we've been waiting on, man. And like apostles always, uh, Gabar said, man, you know. He said, hey, man, a true man of the Lord, we're going to be rejoicing, man, because this is one step closer to the Lord coming back, defending us, and bringing these Edomites down, man, and to get rid of two-thirds of our people and set up righteousness, man, and give us deliverance and, and, and set the kingdom up, man. So this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful, man, because we know everything that the Scripture says that we've been waiting and be, you know, the prophecies to be fulfilled is surely coming together, man. So they're going to boost, it's supposed to boost your faith up, man. Knowing that they're going to come against us. The scripture says that. Knowing that World War III and the Mark of the Beast is about to be implemented. And, it, and that's happening. Israel waking up. The world hating us, man. All that is true. According to the scriptures, man. And we've seen it being played out, man. So that should be a faith booster, man. And the Lord eventually going to deliver us, man. And give us that power, too, man. To, to help us, too. 
So I hope and pray that this lesson is edifying to the ones that are out there looking, listening and looking and watching. You know, to the next time, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakaf Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders out of great millstone that teach and rule well. The citation to the fellow laborers that's out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Till next time, Shalom.